You know, guys, I've read tons and tons and tons of comments daily, honestly, on a daily basis of people telling me to stop playing Call of Duty, of people kindly suggesting me to play other games. And very recently, there's been a lot of people asking me to play the X Defiant beta. And thanks to my guy, Crafter HD. I mean, you guys can feel free to subscribe to him or check out his Twitter. This guy provided me a code and I decided, you know what? I haven't really played Call of Duty in the last month and a half consistently anyways. So why not? I'll give it a try. A lot of people are saying it's good. A lot of people are saying it's the COD killer. I decided, you know what? I'm going to play it. I'm going to try it out. And for the last two to three days, I've been putting a lot of hours into X Defiant and I'm just going to be straight up with you guys. I think X Defiant, at least from an enjoyment perspective, I do actually think it's pretty fun. But that doesn't go without saying you guys know exactly who I am. I'm the scat master and I got to keep it real. I got to be honest, even if it's the hard truth. And I've been seeing this concept and idea floating around Twitter, Reddit, YouTube, everywhere. Do I think X Defiant will kill Call of Duty? Guys, Unfortunately not. I don't think X Defiant is going to kill Call of Duty. As a matter of fact, despite how much I'm enjoying X Defiant right now, there is still a lot of things that need to be fixed and tweaked and overall just redone in order for it to be a true solid competitor that could even possibly dethrone Call of Duty. Now, do I think it could get there? There is definitely a chance of it. I mean, the base enjoyability of the game is already there. But when I tell you guys that I don't think X Defiant can kill Call of Duty, it's not because I like Call of Duty or that I'm a gooch licker for COD or that I'm hating on X Defiant. It's none of those reasons. You guys have heard me say this before, but sales don't equate enjoyability. Ability. Sales don't equate quality, and this might be one of those proving factors for that. As much as I think X Defiant is more enjoyable than Call of Duty in some aspects, the sheer size and support and player base for COD, it's just one of those mountains that's extremely hard to climb, and I just don't think X Defiant can do that right now in the state that it's in. And although I don't think it'll kill COD, I do actually think it can make a significant impact on the player base for COD, especially for those COD players that are looking for an alternative because they're just tired of the same shit that we've been dealing with since MW 2019. And that's really the main focus that I'm trying to give for this video. It's not gonna be so much a review or feedback and constructive criticism. There will be a lot of that towards the end of the video, but for right now, I will let you guys know why I do think X Defiant could make a significant impact on Call of Duty despite not actually dethroning it or killing it, quote unquote. Now, you guys are all aware of how the COD cycle goes. A COD title gets overhyped before it comes out. All of our gooch licking content creators at the top, they'll start overhyping it and they'll say it's going to be the greatest COD since Black Ops 2. It's going to be a top five COD that the developers are finally listening and all this shit. We've heard it all before. Usually the beta, sometimes the alpha for the game, it comes out and of course, a lot of people have a lot of feedback for it. We give it to the developers, whether respectful or not, it doesn't matter. We give them feedback, then usually nothing happens with that feedback unless you're Infinity Ward. And instead of being simply ignored, Infinity Ward will try to tell us why we're wrong, despite having any common sense or any sense of what actually makes Call of Duty enjoyable. And you guys know some of the things that makes Call of Duty enjoyable. We need good maps. We need red dots on the mini map. We we need dead silence as a perk. We need very light to no SBMM. We need fluid motion. We need a variety of guns. We need a proper progression system, maybe a ranked play system as well. And most importantly, we need some developers that fucking listen. And let's be honest, guys. Have we had any of those things since MW 2019 with the exception of the second half of Cold War? Absolutely the fuck not. No, Call of Duty has been dropping the ball in terms of enjoyability and in terms of actually just listening to the goddamn fans. And this is something that X Defiant actually does extremely well. The developers for X Defiant have been all over Twitter talking about certain aspects and designs of the game, being open to listening to what people have to say about those designs because not all the designs in this game are perfect 
or good. And when people offer feedback, again, even if it's not respectful, I've seen people be extremely disrespectful about this game, and yet these developers don't crawl away into the cracks of the earth the same way that the developers for Call of Duty do. Now, I'm not a gooch licker for X to find. Let me make this extremely clear. There is a lot of issues for this game, but we need to take into consideration that it is in beta and it's an actual beta. It's not like Call of Duty's betas where those are pretty much just demos and any feedback that you have, almost none of it gets fixed. But Call of Duty still manages to get all of the sales they want within the first week or else the first month. And after that, it's downhill from there, with the exception of Cold War slightly. Massive spike in the beginning of the game, and then just constantly, constantly falls off, day after day, week after week, month after month, even with the seasonal updates. And once people are finally exhausted of the current game, news starts coming out about the next Call of Duty. And they find new ways to market it and new ways to try to hype you up and try to get you hooked on the idea that it's gonna be this new amazing Call of Duty title never before seen, best feedback response in COD history. I mean, we were talking about Call of Duty 2.0 before this game came out. I still don't even know what the fuck that means because this seems like the same shit that I've been playing since MW20. 2019. That is the Call of Duty cycle, and it happens over and over and over and over again. But this is the golden opportunity, this is the golden ticket for a game like X Defiant, where games previous to X Defiant, like Splitgate or Rainbow Six even, a game like X Defiant, I don't know when it's coming out, and feel free to let me know if you do actually know, but if they come out around the time that the next Call of Duty comes out later this year, there is an actual opportunity for that game to be deemed more successful by a higher amount of the population than for a game like Call of Duty next year. Because as we know, next year's COD is supposed to be this weird extension of MW 2019 Part 2, but also its own unique title developed by Sledgehammer Games with one less year of development coming off of fucking Vanguard. I mean, if there's any time to strike, that's probably the one year you possibly can. You don't really want to do it against an Infinity Ward game because all of these IW gooch lickers, they'll literally die for Joe Seacott and Bobby Cosby. I mean, you see it in the comments all the time. Sort of the same thing with Treyarch. People are always saying Treyarch's gonna save Call of Duty, but we need to wait two to three years for that. So what's in between that? Sledgehammer's titles. And when Sledgehammer has been flopping year after year, title after title, especially when you're switching plans for the next COD title and seemingly giving it to Sledgehammer last minute, this is literally the best opportunity that a game like X Defiant has to make a severe impact on Call of Duty, the way that Call of Duty is played, and the amount of people that will be playing Call of Duty. Now, I'm not gonna say X Defiant is going to outsell the next COD. As a matter of fact, I don't even think X Defiant can be purchased. But even if you could purchase it, I still think Call of Duty is gonna have the upper hand in that. There are millions of people that are interested in Call of Duty. There's millions of people that want Call of Duty to do better. And so they buy the next game, hoping that it's better because some content creator out there hyped it up like they did last year and the year before. Well, as I've been saying since MW 2019 Part 2 came out, I've literally made hundreds of videos on some of the issues that plague this game. And when none of those things get fixed, you see the exact same pattern. The player base goes up for the new season, but over time, it dwindles and it gets lower. This game was originally supposed to last two years. It could not sustain that because the game fucking blows. If you could visualize this, this is one of those moments where the enemy goes into final stand, right? And they have their pistol out. All you need to do is one tap them. Unless it's fucking MW 2019 part two where you need to shoot them like two or three times because I don't know who the fuck decided that, but usually you just need to shoot them one time and it's done. This is that moment where COD is going into final stand because there's so many issues with the game. They want to remove dead silence and red dots on the minimap. They want to implement skill-based matchmaking because they think that's going to garner them more money. They think that's going to make the game more enjoyable. Well, now you have a game like X Defiant that sees that feedback that's not being responded to in COD and they themselves implement that into their own game. X Defiant has red dots. It supposedly doesn't have any skill-based matchmaking. The time to kill is where 
a lot of people want Call of Duty to be at. Maybe a little bit more, but don't get me wrong, there is a lot of issues with X Defiant, but because it's a beta, not only can I cut them some slack, but I'm pretty confident that they'll fix some of these things up, and if they manage to fix some of the hard-hitting feedback, the game actually has the opportunity to do something crazy whenever it comes out, depending when it comes out. If X Defiant seemingly fixes their aim assist issue, or some of the clunkiness in the movement, or some of the UI problems, or some of the inconsistencies with the netcode, or the servers, or the lag. One of the biggest issues that I have with X Defiant personally is the clunkiness of the movement when you're on controller. And I know a lot of keyboard and mouse players wanna say it's an aim assist thing. The issue in X Defiant for a controller player from my perspective is the movement, not necessarily the aiming or the shooting while aiming. To me, it's the movement when looking side to side, looking side to side while sprinting and looking side to side while aiming. There's a lot of clunkiness and it almost feels like you're in mud. If you were a kid back then, then this probably happened to you, but maybe you needed a new controller, right? Yours is broken, but you're a kid and and you're a poor broke bitch. So you go to GameStop and you find one of those alternative controllers for the PS3, for example, that is wired. And you buy it because it's a lot cheaper and you're like, okay, well, I'm just gonna do this instead. And you start playing any game, specifically a shooter game, and it just feels like there's a delay or that you're extremely heavy when you're aiming. You can't strafe, you can't look left and right properly. Maybe it's a dead zone setting on my controller when I'm playing X Defiant, but that is exactly what it feels like to me. It feels like you're playing Bioshock mixed with Borderlands, mixed with, I don't fucking know, that controller. But everything else when it comes to the operators, the abilities, the maps, specifically the maps, I love the maps. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I think every single map in X Defiant shits on and clears every single map that we've seen since MW 2019, minus like five or six total. I'm not even joking when I say that. I actually like the maps in X Defiant quite a bit. I like the abilities, I like the fluidity in the movement, specifically when sliding, I think that shit is extremely clean. I think the main issue for me is fluidity in the movement while aiming, while running, while doing anything else. Sometimes it's a little choppy when you mantle something. You really need to nail that if you want to be a true competitor to Call of Duty. And I think X Defiant next year, depending on when X Defiant comes out in comparison to COD 2023, again, I'm not going to say X Defiant is going to kill COD but if you're looking for an alternative, X Defiant would probably be the one. But that's gonna do it for me today, guys. I'm curious to know what you guys think about this. Have you tried out X Defiant yet? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, hit the bell notifications to stay up to date with my newest videos. And uh, yeah, guys, it's been the boy Fooly. Have yourselves a good one. I'm out of here. Toodles. It's been a very long time since the weekend. It's been a very